jet board engine needs a mount. Starting with the basic shape for the design envelope, along with the mounting locations to the engine and jet board, we'll use typology setting to produce the ideal geometry for the bracket. Our goal, of course, is the lightest part possible that'll hold. New for 2019, topology study includes a stress or factor of safety constraint. My topology is validated to the loading conditions. Also new, a frequency constraint can be added to the study. I need to stay above the engine operating speed. With goals achieved and results complete, you can export the smooth topology mesh to a new configuration. The slicing tool a new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2019 creates multiple intersection sketches on any imported mesh in a single command. These sketches can be dynamically edited at any time for exact position and can be used like any other sketch to create additional reference features or geometry. For our engine mill, we'll use these sketches to create a boundary base feature. Add three cutouts from another slice in the results and add holes for the mounting hardware. We'll finish off the design with a few fillets. This looks great. In the assembly, the bracket is a perfect fit. Topology study with stress and frequency constraints combined with the new mesh slicing tool makes geometry creation easy, letting you explore new technologies like additive manufacturing. And that's what's new in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2019. Cut, find me. Kurt, that was a keeper. It's for saving assemblies as multi-body parts. And even went on to show us how we can use interference detection and in those multi-body part files. And let's not forget how much easier it's going to be to manage external references in 2019. He then closed with some pretty amazing technology with the AI denoiser for SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Then yesterday, Mark Schneider showed us that awesome new feature for adding 3D textures to parts, along with some partial fillets and chamfers. Likewise, yesterday, Mark Barrow went through a host of new user interface enhancements. These were support for the Microsoft Surface Dial, pen sketch splines and slots, 3D markup, and wow, was it awesome to see SOLIDWORKS in a VR environment? Yet it was Kirk who thought he was going to shield, steal the show this morning with frequency and factor of safety constraints for topology studies, along with the ability to slice meshes into usable geometry for taking your results through to manufacturing. But I'm here to tell you, they missed some of my favorite enhancements. I love the Mako jet board that they use in all their examples, but I'm a machine designer at heart, and I'm guessing a few of you are too? Yeah! So I thought maybe I would hijack this year's skit to show you some of my favorite new features. Okay, so sometimes I can get a little overzealous and let the mates in my assemblies get out of hand, like we see in this palletizer assembly. Well, with SOLIDWORKS 2019, it's super simple to group all the mates in your assembly by status. This lets you quickly look past the 79 solved and even the 61 overdefined mates in this assembly and focus on the two mates with errors. In this case, I'll simply remove them. There's also categories for mates that have been suppressed because the components have been removed from the assembly and component and mates that have been suppressed due to the component being fixed at a later date. These also aren't needed, so we'll remove those as well. So grouping mates by status makes it really easy to find and clean up the mates in your assemblies. Sometimes it's hard work with components buried in your assemblies though. So with some cool new enhancements to the component preview mode in 2019, that's no longer the case. You can now select multiple components and view them side by side or sync them together. This makes it really easy to do day-to-day -day tasks and gives you a lot of flexibility. Whether you're mating components, dragging and dropping a toolbox file in here, or maybe you want to go through the process of adding a feature in here. Regardless of what it is, you can work with the components side by side to get a better understanding of how these individual components work together. It's really clear and easy to understand. 
So if any of you out there are like me, you like all of your components to be fully defined in your assemblies. And you may have noticed that when I added this fastener, it was fully defined already. That's because concentric mates rotation was automatically locked using a new option for toolbox components. This will save you that extra stop, step of locking your concentric mates and adding parallel mates to your toolbox components. But what I really wanted to show all of you is definitely my favorite new enhancement for SOLIDWORKS 2019. Internally, they called this project Massively D-Feature Assemblies. This is a completely new way of using the D-Feature tool in SOLIDWORKS to create, we'll call them silhouettes, of the geometry in your design. You simply choose what you want to include in your D-Featured version and choose to add it using a, a variety of options. In this case, we're going to use the bounding box option for all the bodies in this frame. You can see it removes all the fillets and makes the geometry as simple as possible while preserving the shape. In the case of these pallets, we can remove even more detail by consuming all of the bodies as well. You can even do this for multiple components at a time, allowing you to quickly simplify large portions of your design that might not be necessary to show. But the tool gives you a ton of control. Take this sheet metal guard, for example. The default when we choose this is a box, but we might want to show a little bit more of the profile. You can select from several different methods to generate the silhouette. And in this case, I'll use the tight fit option and even specify the right face to generate the profile. This gives me just the shape I'm looking for. Likewise, sometimes you don't want to select an entire part, like in the case of this motor and gearbox. Instead, we can choose to select specific bodies like this motor, in which case I'll choose the cylindrical option to create the shape from. Meanwhile, the gearbox contains critical features. So we can choose to actually keep all of the geometry in special cases like this. This is really important. Remember, what we're doing here is we're just choosing what to include in the final D feature part over on the right hand preview file here. So once you go through this process and specify it, you have a few choices what you want to do with this file. You'll notice you can choose to upload it directly to 3D Content Central to share this with potential customers, or simply save it locally, and even have the option to always link this file back to the original assembly. This way, if you go back and make changes to the assembly, or you want to change the defeatured file, you'll always be able to go back and make adjustments to the defeatured version of your design. So I'm going to go ahead and add magnetic mates to this file. I've done that. And I want to show where this feature really shines. When working with assemblies that contain these files, you'll immediately notice both a huge performance increase and more importantly, simplicity when working with these defeatured files. Instead of inserting and managing large assemblies for this layout, you'll notice here that I can simply drag and drop this part file and snap those together using those magnetic mates. This is much easier than trying to manipulate and work with assemblies and configurations to accomplish this task. But it gets even better when we look at drawings. Like the assembly, you're going to notice that these become lightning fast to work with. But more importantly, again, is the simplicity for things like general arrangement drawings. There's no unnecessary detail on the drawing, meaning we get high quality drawing views without excessive lines and arcs and tangent edges for all those minute details. This makes printing and detailing a breeze you won't have to struggle with selecting the edges of components. So did I mention clean drawings without completely blacked out areas when you go to print them or create high quality PDFs? So D feature is an awesome tool to use for this, but it's also great for protecting your intellectual property. So in this case, we can use this to protect the IP of the engine assembly. So it's not just for large equi equipment, it's also a great tool to use in any design like the Gylo Banco. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and show... Jeremy! Enough! Разговорился тут, ёлки-балки. Oops, sorry, I'm speaking with my Cleveland accent. This is supposed to be a short technical presentation. I just want to show one more thing. No, no, all of you, remember, second part of the year, we have a... 
test incoming, okay, so you need to sign up for beta and test these new if useful features. And you, come with me, you naughty boy, no more. But they're going to save so much time with all these new no, features no, no. as soon as they start using it. No. Let's now reveal the next year location. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope to see all of you next year in Dallas, Texas.